Good morning, everyone. You are watching Ksa Talk Show. This is the commencement of Ksa Talk Show, where professional programmers and fringe programmers we are gathered here to talk about the world's affairs. And today we have several topics. We have Emacs and Emacs Lisp live coding prepared for you. And we're going to talk about mouse, DJ mouse, some fantastic stuff. Okay, DJ mouse, jock wheel, shuttle ring, German keyboard layout, and German letter frequency, and uh, HP28 calculator. These are fantastic things I'm going to show you. Okay, let's show them the today's topic. Now, there are so many topics today. I'm not sure I can finish it all. But let's see uh, where we go. So we're going to talk about, uh, first of all, first stop is Emac and Emac list for 20 minutes. We're going to do that as promised. Uh, that's a technical topic. Then we're going to talk about this DJ mouse, OK, fantastic device. Then we're going to talk about this uh, DJ, DJ mouse and uh, this the function, the functionality, the purpose of jock wheel and shuttle ring. If you don't know what they are, I'm going to show you what they are. And we're going to talk about HP28S Advanced Scientific Calculator. This is the first uh, or the second graphing calculator back in 1987 or so. I bought it for $250. And the programming language is, it has a programming language uh, which is similar to fourth, the stack-based programming language. Okay, And I programmed in that for three years or so four years. Uh, that is, in fact, my first programming language, if you count that as a language. And by the way, this is uh, the Ruby creator, Mats, also began his programming career, programming life, on a calculator. Okay, I might show you. Uh, so let's write it down. Okay, so Ksar Talk Show today, HP28S, okay, and uh, Ruby creator, hold on a second, magnify and show the all my Emacs command you can see in this pink, this uh, purple window. This is Emily's favorite color. Okay, so we're going to talk about Ruby creator Mats, M-A-T-Z, who started programming on a Casio calculator. OK, and on YouTube, in the description box, you can click a link. There's a link you go to. Then you will go to my uh, Sound Talk Show page for today. And uh, you can and, and be sure to press refresh because I've just updated it. OK, so good morning, guys. Bart, good morning, ULSEC. Salutations, Papa Moon. Lunarius and Magpie, good morning to uh, all you people in Germany, in uh, Nova Scotia, in Canada, and uh, in um, <laughs> how do you say that country? Uh, in mid in in in, in uh, Middle America. Nic Nicaragua, Nicaragua, and good morning, Benjamin Raskin. <laughs> Benjamin Raskin, is that your real name? Uh, I forgot where you're from, Benjamin Raskin. Because that name, I remember it's also a character in a movie. And Freddie from Germany and Bar says, maybe I can answer a couple of German keyboard questions, what they rely on real life experience. OK, so uh, let's pop this out. And uh, OK, as promised, we need to begin uh, on Emac Lisp. OK, technical problem, technical uh, stuff for 20 minutes. Um, OK, so on the left window, you see all my Emacs commands. OK, and uh, when you see a command you don't know, you can just look it up, search it, you'll find the code. So Emac Lisp, there is this, there is a fantastic Benjamin Raskin, okay. So there is a fantastic 
command. Let me show you what it does. Okay, so I press a key. Now you can see on the left window, I, I'm pressing the key six. Okay, that will just select the block. You see, cancel. Let's do it again. Press, press one single key press. Okay, press, press. You see, this is fantastic command. Now that command is, let me show you. So that command is this one. Xa select block. Xa select block. Okay, and let's look at the keyboard. Okay, I mean, let's look at the code. So here's a code, and there is a corresponding website. You go to it, show in browser, and uh, here's a code you can use. This is fantastic. This is part of Xa fly keys package. But there is a bug. I think some uh, sometimes I introduce the bug. So what is a bug? For example, let me show you. Okay, I select, 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 select. Let's do it again. Okay, hold on. So select, select, select. It selects a block. You know, like a paragraph. Uh, then, by the way, Emacs also has its built-in select paragraph, but it's no good. Okay, I, I'm not going to talk about it. But if you are new to Emacs, or if you like, you, you know, some of the nerds, they will challenge. They 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 they, they will see. Oh, yeah, but Emacs already has it. Blah blah blah. No, okay, I've been doing this for 20 years. I I, I tell you, <laughs> I tell you what is correct, what is not. Okay, so ignore the Emacs one. It's no good. And I'm not going to explain. Well, it's because it doesn't really work. It depends on syntax uh, table and so on. So anyway, so this command, this is fantastic. But but however, there's a bug. The bug is, for example, if I have multiple, uh, let's magnify. OK, hold on a second. So if you see, I have here a multiple uh, empty, empty lines. So suppose my cursor is over here. I select, 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 select. Now this is incorrect. It should actually select up to here. So, th so that's a that's a bug I introduced. Sometimes I forgot when. So let's fix that. Okay. First of all, go to the um, go to the code. So here is the code, and we are going to modify it. Okay. So let's see. Let's, we can modify it right here. So make a backup first. You see, I already made a backup, and that command is over there. Let's see. Um, magnify. Okay, so that is a make backup and save. So we want to modify this command, and uh, let's see what to do. So if region active search for word okay otherwise skip char I made, uh, you know, because, you know, there is a tip in programming that is, if it works, don't touch it. <laughs> but I think maybe last year or sometimes this year, I was looking at the code and I thought, oh, this shouldn't be, you know, that's redundant. Let's just change it. And <laughs> and now it's having this problem. So, so if it works, don't touch it, okay? So research for word, uh, search for word, new line, new line one or one one or, uh, ah. So this is a regular expression you are looking at. Um, you know it's tricky. Actually, it's not as easy as you might think, because. <sighs> Okay, so let me uh, make work on this. Okay, so so if there is a region, then search for word. Okay, otherwise, okay. The problem is with the uh, 
Select the current block of text between blank lines. Okay, so select block. Let's see if I have a backup version here. S select current block. So 2017, it, uh, 2017 November 1st. Okay. Uh, wait, so why is it not working? Select, select. So if region active, we don't care. So if region is not active, region active means there is a uh, selection. So if region is not, not active, then it's that. Then so we first of all we skip char forward. Okay, we skip space, new line, and tab. Okay, then ah, God, this is you know this requires thinking. Yeah, uh, when I'm doing a video, it requires thinking. I cannot think. Because when it requires thinking, that means I'm going to sit here doing nothing for two or three minutes. <laughs> okay, so let's add a plus there. Okay, I, I don't know if that works. Oops. Um, evaluate the code. Okay, let's try it again. So select, it works. Okay, let's just say that. Okay, so that's all, we cha that's all the change we did. So... So you see, let me tell you, let me explain. Okay, so what, what's going on? So when when there is no when when there is a region Okay, hold on a second. So if you see there is a if statement, then it checks if there is a selection. Now if there is a selection, then you do search forward. You search forward by new line, space or tab zero or more then another new line okay so let's try it so there is a region let's make a region then press a key okay so that's no good what we want is like that so therefore all we have to do is add a plus here plus means um uh well let's uh plus one or more yeah so let's add a plus there So let's evaluate the code and let's try it again. So first of all, make a region, then call the command. That's good. That's what we want. Fantastic. Now, so when there is no region, then it says skip char forward. OK, that means move the cursor. Uh, to the first character that's not space, new line, or tab. Okay, so we, so when there is no region, we, let's try it again. Do it. Okay, that seems good. So first of all, you skip char, then, Uh, you know, there's uh, you have to actually follow the code carefully. But however, what we've done right now is simply to add a plus, like multiple uh, new lines, and it seems to work. You see the problem. You see, right now it appears everything is fine, but we need to do quality assurance because if you don't actually carefully understand what these other lines are doing then you might have other problems. It's just that you don't know right now. So this is a situation where you need unit, uh, unit testing. Uh, but to write unit testing for this kind of thing is not easy. OK, so, so let's just say so that. Let's just say that's it for today. So we, we do that. Change the date, OK, uh, the version date here and evaluate again let's and save okay let's just say that and this is supply keys let's go to the top change the version number 
So let's call a command that insert the date in this format 2019, uh, 2019 December 26, 13 o'clock, 21 seconds, 40 seconds, 21 minutes, 40 seconds. So that's my version stamp. Okay, save it. Let's call match it. Match it is becoming slow, so let's go here. So these are the changes we made. Okay, that's I do. Uh, So far, so good. Any comments? Any questions about this? Any questions about Emacs? About what we are doing? Ask now, okay? Then we're gonna talk about something else. Shell command open shell quote argument. Okay, so we meet uh, minor fixes. So okay, so I'm going to commit this. So this is magic mod. Okay, if you guys don't know what that is, mod, uh, magic mod. Uh, in fact, let me copy this. Let me do a screenshot because, okay. Let me let me do a screenshot here. Press the key. Press space to capture the window. Click. Yes, fantastic. Now I have a screenshot. Now let's commit this uh, thing. Okay. Press S to add. Press C to CC to commit and uh, we need to write what's changed let's just say minor fixes okay uh, actually usually to do it properly you need to say what what command command or change instead of the weasel words like <laughs> minor fixes <laughs> Code is important. Okay. <laughs> Some change. <laughs> okay, so, well, we need to do it properly. So let's do a little bit proper comment in uh, git commit. Okay, so first of all, let's go back to Xaflight key. Uh, and let's find out what the command we just modified. Okay, so that's the command name. Xaflight select block. Okay, now go back here and let's say XA select block. Okay, and what else did we change? Um, okay, let's do it properly. Okay, let's let's do it properly. So the other change is this one. XA show kill ring. Okay. Then what's the other change? Uh, magic. Okay, here is another change. Sasha desktop. Okay, that's it. So control C, control C to commit. Then capital P and P to push. Now this is pushed to my Xaflight keys master on GitHub. Okay, so let's show it. Oh, I got 20 people watching. Merry Christmas, everyone. Well, today, well, happy holidays. Okay, <laughs> yesterday is Christmas. So now you go to Xaflight keys, GitHub. Then you can see GitHub, Xaflai Keys, the most efficient Emacs key binding system. If you have not used it, try it. Okay, it's fantastic. It's more efficient than Vim or Evil Mod. So you can see commit 627 commits. And you can see today's commit over here.
fantastic and now on Melpa after a few hours or after today you'll get the latest version on Melpa so that is about that command and soft light keys and magic I happen just to I we just happen to demonstrate magic magic my friend Ma magic is a package in Emacs for using git okay it's a it's a great package so close soft light keys uh, close that screenshot close back to Xar talk show hold on a second so back to Xar talk show we're gonna write down what we have done so that is the Emacs command the code you can get over there but we need to add today's code uh, change on this page we haven't done yet we're gonna I'm gonna do that okay so let me write some notes first screenshot okay uh, on diff okay uh, and we also showed match it okay Emacs demo of package magic a package for git demo of magic a package for git okay so that is what we have done today and hold on a second let me show you the why are we doing a screenshot of the gift of the diff okay one more one more thing actually 10,000 more things okay let's go to so you go to you open oh and soft light keys okay let me let me show you quite a few things I want to show you soft light keys okay you search soft light keys and there's a github page and there is soft light keys home page and this page explains everything about what it is what you can do how to install how fantastic it is and uh, including a tutorial and how to customize it okay and this is a friend George from America he this is his photo so let's paste the code here okay so soft like keys we got that but I also want to show you um, magic okay Ksali Emacs magic so this is a tutorial on magic oh, okay I, I got so many tutorials let me show you all of them uh, hold on a second go back and if you have comments at you know address it to me make it make it orange okay I'm gonna answer in, in a minute so wait let's go to uh, Emacs git where is my magic article anyway so you go to practical Emacs tutorial and near the bottom you'll have a section on magic okay so this is my tutorial on how to use the magic mod for Emacs very simple okay if you have not if you are if you are an Emacs user this is a great package to get and uh, if you are confused it has a lot of features okay but on this page I'm I, I, I show you the four the most fundamental commands you basically every Emacs magic user have to use every day okay so this is the most practical tutorial just read it and you'll be good okay so let me copy the URL and put it in my talk show page okay so that's one thing I want to show you let me show you another thing now before we we, we actually just demonstrated you know uh, using magic now before you use magic first of all you have to understand git because magic is a package for git it's an interface in Emacs for git now git is of course you know it's a version control system uh, very popular if you are a professional programmer you have to know it 
there's no choice okay you have to know it and git is extremely complex it's one of the unix philosophy fuck okay it's the most complex fuck possible in the tradition of unix not just you know it's not like necessarily complex com complex like much of mathematics they are natural naturally complex you have to learn mathematics deep like a black hole or like a actual black hole it's very deep you have to you know you study 10 years 20 years to understand it but the much of computing stuff like unix stuff git command line they, they are artificial complexity that is in programming in computer science they, they are a lot complexities because they are part of mathematics the general term is math discrete mathematics on you know computer science in general but in programming industry what we deal with every day programmers we programmers you know git uh, unix command line those are crap those are those are artificial complexity those are created by idiots and the uh, in industry forces corporations over the past you know 40 years they arose complexity so git is actually one of them uh why why git is like that i'm not going to go into okay because because unix so anyway git so you you have to learn git okay if you want to be a professional programmer and if you never done before so here is my tutorial git basics and like before you know there are like 10 pages okay i cover the most fundamental basic practical command command line examples that every git users all, almost have to use every day so you know there are tons of git tutorials online but why you should why should you read my well that's the reason well you know that's my stuff you know me so you might you know as well check out my tutorial so git so this is my git tutorial you have to learn it okay so paste it here so we have okay so there's something wrong here so i don't want uh, there, there is some you see there's a nested list which is not we what i want there's some some i'm missing a uh, tag somewhere that is why okay so i think that's fixed hold on a second now it's fixed now let me show you another command okay let me show you another command so we go to and then i'm going to read the comments okay so we go to e shell another fantastic fantastic thing in emacs and let me show you this command okay this command is saw interactive abbrev okay press then i got rsync press enter then it's synced to my website so now if you go to the youtube you know in the youtube descriptions you click on the link and press refresh you will see my you know updated uh Xa talk show topics we the things we've talked about okay so that's about that there is one more thing then i'm gonna answer the questions okay uh, i'm gonna look at the comments one more thing so you go to YouTube and you go to Xali Linux diff. We encounter another tutorial that is diff. This is a classic Unix tool, command line tool that diff um, that tells you that compares the differences between two files. This is essential. You know, if you are a, pro a professional programmer, you need to understand this diff. Every professional programmer, you need to know. Okay, so if you are a student, if you haven't done this before, check it out. Okay. So I'm going to put the link here as usual after the Git basics. So you can see it's there. But why are we talking about diff? Because remember, we did a screenshot before on my page there's no screenshot so I, I want I need a screenshot so this is my process of writing my tutorials so let's open the diff uh, page 
first of all observe you see there's an updated date last updated 2019 February so we're gonna change that okay you see it's over here okay let me magnify you see that line is over here so I'm just going to press one command one key okay watch watch the efficiency the power and efficiency of software keys and Emacs so I press three keystrokes okay not control something something no such thing no control meta nothing three single keystrokes uh, why does it say space U? It's actually U, not Y O U. Okay. Anyway, that, that's strange. So I press three keystrokes, and you see the date is updated. So I go to the browser, uh, watch the date. Okay. Refresh. You see December twenty sixth, and we're gonna add a uh, the screenshot we did a few minutes ago. So let me add it here. Okay, so let's go down here, and uh, now remember we add we we did a screenshot on the Mac, and that screenshot is saved in the desktop folder somewhere in the desktop desktop folder. Actually, we can see, we can see it. You see there. Open it. You see that's a screenshot we did before. Close it. It's in the desktop folder, but I have a command that if I call it, I just press a few keys, it will move that screenshot to the current directory and also create a HTML link to it. So let me show you, okay? So I'm gonna press three keys, okay? Let me show you again. Uh, wait, well, what is the key? So, okay, so press two keys. It asks me what directory I want to move to. I, okay. And it's, it asks me to type a name. Uh, let's say uh, I type git diff. Okay. There it is. You see, it added that block of text with, you know, the image is moved here. That's the image. Close it. And also it created this HTML whole thing for you just by two keystrokes show in browser scroll down see fantastic that's uh, so this is an example of diff out, uh, uh, diff output with color git diff okay so actually I need to move that over here because over here it's about gif um, well let's just leave it there Okay, I'm going to think about appropriate location uh, position of this image offline. So, but for now, let's leave it there. Okay, so, and uh, let's, you see the, the screenshot on my desktop is gone, you see, because the fantastic Emacs command did everything for me in one shot. Okay, and that command we just called is uh, over here, okay. You see, that that is a command. So actually, so let's copy it. And uh, that is a command. And let me actually show the code, okay. So here is a code. And again, there is a corresponding URL over here. And show in browser. This is the command you can grab, move image file. So copy the file path, close it, close it. Let's put it here. So we did a lot Emacs demonstration today and Unix stuff, Git and all that. Okay, so that's, okay. Then show in browser again, Xar talk show updated. Go to shell, eshell. Eshell is a shell written in Emacs Lisp entirely, and and it is what I use. So it's now it's updated to my web server. So that's it about Emacs for today. So let me read the comments and questions.
Oh, there is a fine question. AA says, double A says, the problem with Xali's philosophy is that once you expose a lot of interfaces and create abstractions, you risk of making the whole thing slow and hard to isolate to isolate errors or recover. Wrong. <laughs> okay, because my code uses the fast the fastest fastest possible. Okay, my my code my Emacs Lisp code is faster than any package, any the most popular package, Ivy, Helm, uh, uh, a bunch of others. You, you know, you go to Melpa, you see the top 10, the most popular packages. They usually have like 10,000, 100,000 downloads. You compare any one of them, very popular those are. You compare the, my, my, my code, my Emacs Lisp command, the user interface, the code, okay, the code is faster than all of them. That is my claim. You, you, you can go verify it. My code is faster than, let's just say, the top 10, the most popular packages, packages on Melpa. My code is faster than, than them. Why? I can tell you why. Because I, I code this in a particular way. I always use the, the most, you know, I know what I'm doing, okay? And I'm very, very obsessively particular about how my code should be. So, you know, a lot of people didn't like me because I criticized Richard Stallman or open source. I say, fuck, fuck the Unix, you know, they don't like me. So you see a lot of rumors on, 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 on the web. You say, oh, Ksa Ksali doesn't know how to code this. Ksali does, oh, he's, he's formatting is wrong. Uh, this or that, it's, they are idiots, okay? So first of all, my Emacs Lisp code, the hundreds of them you see on, in my packages or, or in my website, they are faster than all these popular ones, okay? E even, and, I mean, those popular ones are written by the great Lisp programmers, okay? In some cases, they know Lisp better than me. But still, I, I, I make the claim, okay? My code is faster, better than theirs. That's just one thing. It's two, my, my Emac commands code interface, the design is better than theirs, more efficient, you know, the operation. For example, I have demonstrated several of my commands today. Um, you know, I've de demonstrated se several of my Emacs command today. The way they operate, the way, you know, for example, uh, editing command, uh, selection command, for example, we demonstrated uh, select selection of a paragraph. Okay, why do I choose this command? Why should I, you know, maybe I should press a button to select something else, you know, a anyway. So what, what, what I'm saying is that my command, the user interface, the design is more efficient than any of them. I can challenge, okay, this is my second claim. I will challenge of those people, Emacs fanatics, you know, they, 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 they'll be using, you know, Helm. They'll be using Ivy. They'll be using God mod, fucking, fucking, the, the, the nerd jargon, God mod, okay. There's a key, key binding mod, God mod. There's an evil mod, okay. I clearly claim my commands with soft like keys or, or, or individual commands are faster than them and more efficient than them. And this can be measured scientifically, okay? Not what you think. Oh, I think, I think, um, I think the caps lock should be, should be a uh, control. Fucking idiots, okay? These commands, my command, they are not just faster. Faster you can measure by time, okay? By a clock. But they are also uh, they are also um, more efficient, meaning you use, you, you use my system, you lock your keystrokes, okay? In Emacs, you, there's a package, okay? Let me show you this package. You lock your keystrokes, okay? Don't, don't you know, do, do things scientifically. So uh, let me show you the key lock, okay? And I have an article on that. <laughs> I have an article on everything. Uh, key lock, so, okay, so let me, MetaX, frequency show. Now this is a package which I kind of, you know, a friend began, I modified it and David Capello took over. So this package, okay, f key frequency. Uh, okay, I'm gonna, so we are digressing Kazali uh, Emacs command statistics. Okay, I have a page reporting on the statistics of Emacs commands here. Emacs command frequency statistics 
and if you know I, I report you know uh, the the which command are most often used so this is written like 15 uh, uh, 2007 okay it's already 13 years ago I've been obsessively studying this geeking on this daily more than anybody else on the on the on on this earth okay if you live in Mars maybe you do better okay but on this earth my my claims about key binding science okay key 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 keyboarding science is is better than anyone else I claim that you can challenge me prove me wrong by you know you can go go online prove me wrong don't just oh because I'm an idiot say something tangible say something like because this this is this, this that and most of them is you know the opinions are not good they don't they don't have nothing to back up and they don't know because they never spend much time on it so so in, so it becomes you know lots of criticisms but I have to spend an hour to answer each one you know it's you well just watch my videos okay so anyway so this Emacs command, command frequency statistics report you go to the bottom there's a link to the package so it, he, so here's a practical tip okay you 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 get that package it's on Melpa you download it then you can have your key log count just like I show here you see this is my key log uh, for the past I don't know half a year or a year so that so that is about key log okay so so let me copy this link emacs command frequency and put it here <laughs> this is Kassar rant non-stop man I can go on forever I can go on for a few hours about this <sighs> and I need you guys input okay so that's a, <laughs> that's a good question AA so you know so I'm claiming my commands are more efficient better you know more efficient better design and also code is faster than theirs okay you can believe it or not you can you know go try it yourself you have to spend time on it that that is the issue so anyway let's go back to see what the co comments address to me okay so um, so how long have I been talking 42 minutes okay so um, programming smart contract okay um, so if you have a question for me put it put my name to it so okay so I can see easy so hey a question I always had about you how do you spend your day oh haven't you well watch my videos and you can see how I spend my day this is kind of how I spend my day I work on all these things uh, you know I've been doing video almost a year ago almost every day uh, about an hour a day at least half a year ago so if you, you, you watch a few of them you kind of know uh, what I do every day you know I just sit in front of computer I talked about this several times before so uh, and I get that question a lot you know sometimes people will say oh can you can you do a diary kind of like so you know because I'm kind of a bit weird uh, and people uh, you know they have a question you know so what what do you do how, how what what is your life like what do you do every day you know so so well so you are watching it somewhere it's not really so so I use VC for version control facilities okay that that is a built-in version control it seems you are using something else magic yes correctly correct uh, the VC it's built-in you know there's a lot of politics in Emacs you see normally ideally in Emacs you would like to have one package that deals with git or this or v or other version control systems you know you ideally you have you you want just one built-in package that's built-in so everyone can use so that 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 creates you know that makes Emacs more powerful but that's not really the case because then someone wrote match it okay so then then there's politics about how do you get your package into Emacs okay it's not it's not okay it, there's a lot of politics so you know it depends on how much willing are you to 
to talk, you know, um, to argue um, in the Emacs dev list. I talked about this many times. So, so anyway, so today in Emacs there is a built-in command which is vcdo. Okay, so I can I never I I haven't used it. Vcdo. Okay, so let's for example let's look at the documentation. So it says vcdo is an interactive auto loaded list function. Okay, uh, and uh, it shows vc version control status for interesting files in and below the okay things you know it's it's a uh, version control and you have actually you have a bunch of commands like 20 30 commands for version control and this is built in okay remember this is important this is built in however match it you know most people use git today git you know we had a version control war 10 years ago git won basically all the others are just wiped out Git is the kind of the de facto standard for version control. So, and someone has written this magic package, which is uh, very good. Okay, the VC also does mag Git, also does Git. But anyway, the, the the point is this 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 situation, you know, it's not good. So you have these two systems. You have magic, which you need to download. Then you have this VC. Which also does Git, but also others, which is built in. But however, today most people are using Magit. Okay, very few use uses um, VC. There's a lot of politics because Magit, you know, the VC is part of is because it's bundled. It's part of GNU. It's part of Emacs. Uh, which means they don't they don't change easily. Okay, they cannot evolve easily. Meanwhile. Magic, you know, the things on Melpa, they change almost every day, you know, to for whatever fix, bug fix, they change, they, they change fast because it's not controlled by GNU, by Richard Stallman, okay, this fuck. So, so if you are using Git, I'm pretty sure Magic is better, okay, and also I know this VC is written by this guy, ESR, okay, uh, Eric Raymond, I think mostly. Or, or, or large part of it, Eric S. Raymond, who wrote the, um, who wrote, um, who wrote the, uh, uh, the Baza, you know, Cathedral in the Baza. Okay, so actually it doesn't say Raymond ESR. So it's actually by Dan Nicolosu. Oh, wow. Um, and uh, the current maintainer is, okay. Uh, okay, so it's by this guy, Stephen Monier is the previous Emacs maintainer for five years or so, and Tom Tromi is a guy who began. He he did a lot of things, you know. He he he's a he he created the GNU Alpha. Guys, this guy, Tom Tromi. Why do we have Melpa? Why do we have Melpa? The Alpha, the Emacs package system, thanks to. Tom Tromi, he created it. Okay, thanks to Tom Tromi, this guy, and thanks to uh, and Stephen Monia is a great guy. He he's he led the Emacs dev for for five six years. Fuck Richard Stallman. Fuck fuck Richard Stallman. Fuck head. He's a scumbag. Richard Stallman is a guy who who did the most damage to Emacs in the past ten years, more than ten years. Richard Stallman. I'm not going to get into details because I talked a lot about this in my past videos. But anyway, so the VC uh, tool, I'm pretty sure it's also done by um, Eric S. Raymond uh, because I've seen he talked about it. And he don't have time to, um, you know, actually we can do a search. ESR, okay, so let's do a search. How, how, how is his name spelled? Eric... E R I C, okay, e Eric S Raymond, okay. So let's search for Eric. Uh, hold on a second. No, oh God, those are GZ files. So I don't think my tool search GZ. So uh, let's not search then. There, there are other ways, but <sighs> okay. So anyway, so. G zipped. 
anyway I think he did some work but I don't see it here but anyway so so we are talking about this VC situation the version control system in Emacs and lots of politics okay um, Emacs VC the command match it alpha malpa in Emacs dev politics okay so that's about that so uh, let's see Uh, not yet. I haven't turned off JavaScript yet. Good morning, uh, Alan. So, okay, anything else addressed to me? So Magpie says, uh, Magpie says, as one, as one who's still trying to figure out whether I want to focus on learning Vim or Emacs, what's one thing Emacs can do that Vim cannot do? Uh, well, that's that's kind of a complex question. I mean, and that's also a frequently asked question. Uh, basically, I can give you the you know that that question has been asked for twenty years. <laughs> for twenty years, everyone wants to know that. Okay. So what 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 Emacs can do that Vim cannot? Well, a lot. In general, okay. The, the, here's a general thing. General in general, VI. V VI or Vim is focused on text editing. Okay, that's the primary task, and uh, in general, it relies on the the whole bag of the Unix system to work. So, for example, in Emacs, I can go to a directory. Okay, I can go to a direct. I go to a directory, and I can split, and I can go to shell, e shell, or I can go to um. Uh, I can go to the bash shell. Okay, so you see. On the top is the traditional shell interface bash, and on the bottom is the e shell. Okay, uh, you, you have lots of commands. You have you have like you know as they say, Emacs is an operating system. Technically, it's not, but Emacs does like everything. Okay, but that 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 is a general um, gist of Emacs. It it you can do everything. You can play music. You can have you know you can show images. You can um, Lots of things. You can even write music. You know, you can. Um, let's see. So, do I have an image here? I showed it before, right? So, for example, I open that, and you know, I can show image. This is an image in Emacs. I can go to the directory, and show show you another image. You can you can do you know lots of things. That's the nature of Emacs as like a do OS. But Vim is mostly focused on text editing, and when you do need something else, you drop into the shell and you use the Unix tools. It's kind of that's the workflow most mostly. Okay, not this is just a general situation. So which one to use? Well, it's really up to you. Of course, I like Emacs. Uh, I don't like you know. I don't like. I prefer Emacs. Okay. And uh, and in Emacs you have a package called Evil Mod, which is basically uh, makes Emacs use Vim's key binding. So you can, so if you know Vim, you can use Emacs almost just like a Vim, with all the Emacs power. That's that's what you. So you know, like they say, as they say, once you are in Emacs, you live in Emacs. Like I don't. I don't need to go out to shell to do ls or whatever. You know, I don't. <laughs> I don't need to go to shell to do that. I do everything in Emacs. You know, I can. You know, I can. I can open this uh, in a. You know, I can open this. In, in a in image viewer, you know, in operating system image in, image viewer, I can uh, go to the diet and show in desktop. I can do a, a lot of things. Like Emacs becomes the center, you know, the control center. You where you you are in Emacs, you do everything, you control everything. And today, you even have people who have who moved on Linux. You move the entire X11 system into Emacs. 
<laughs> so you don't even have the you know you don't have like browser windows or desktop no anymore you you have one emacs screen then you have like x11 browsers or whatever terminals <laughs> inside it people are doing that i don't like that though so that's about emacs versus vi okay it, it, ultimately it's uh, like it it's a question you have to answer so 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 Bart says so Emacs is unnecessarily bloated well you don't know Bart you have to like you have to use it to actually know or know <laughs> the opinion uh, okay that's it that's it for Emacs and perhaps I'm thinking perhaps that's it for today because it turns out I talked a lot for 55 minutes so what's the next topic guys what is the next topic oh Alan is mentioning Taleb I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking that guy fuck that guy <laughs> if I'm gonna talk about that guy he's a crackpot of, of, of our current era so today's juice is mango juice okay this is this is actually not pure mango it has kind of sugar but at least it's a uh, can sugar can sugar is so you know don't don't drink sugared water but if you have to like once in a while once in a month uh, can can you know can sugar can you know sugar can make sugar is so kind of okay the so well okay Bart's question is Emacs unnecessarily bloated no it's not bloated at all at all because Emacs in a tradition of the nerds they it's pretty it's very efficient it's no bloat at all Co especially if you compare to Visual Studio or any other editors they 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 will have actually you can try it you know in Emacs for example I have like I have 20 you know I have 30 I have 60 70 you know buffers open in Visual Studio so you know I can show you actually so you go to process you know you look at Emacs okay this Emacs right now it's using what um memory where is memory okay let's go to memory you know 80 86 megabyte memory okay <laughs> Emacs 86 megabyte you start a visual studio or visual code they are like one gigabyte fucking one gigabyte they even if you don't have no window open you just launch it one gigabyte two gigabyte memory they suck it all in and this Emacs right now it's uh, you sh almost always less than 100 megabyte mega okay not giga Th those Vim and whatever or uh, you know they they, they are like uh, they are bloat Emacs is not and actually we can start Vim let's see how how Vim how many how much memory this would be fun okay let's see how much memory is Vim using let's compare notes Vim okay Vim <laughs> let's see uh, Vim with no uh, so right now I have a Vim can you guys see okay this is kind of small but so right now I have Vim where is Vim's um, okay so I need to go by uh, PID okay he, uh, here's a little tip PID is the process ID every process in Unix or Linux has an ID so one way to find the process that just you just launched you can you you can do that by just find the ID that has the highest number of ID most of the time because the ID actually cycles so here it is Vim okay it's using one megabyte of memory right now <laughs> okay that's that's good uh, because I don't have anything open so uh, I'm not too 
you know, familiar with Vim, so I'm not going to like open lots of files or stuff. Yeah, fucking stupid Vim. Okay, that's about that. What else? <laughs> Am I a quack crackpot? No, I'm not a crackpot. I'm a, I'm a good I'm a good crackpot. Uh, no, I'm not a crackpot at all. Uh, but it's up to you to decide, of course. So what what is the next topic today? So we talked for one minute, uh, one hour now. So okay, let's go back to. DJ Mouse. Well, actually, I, I'm not sure. Maybe that's it for today. So we got DJ Mouse. We got some of these interesting things. Okay. Chinese input system. Okay, wait. Oh, this is. Uh, uh, yeah, there's a lot to talk about about keyboard. Like you know, like we can start and they it will never end. Once we start to talk about this, it will not end. Uh, there's Chinese, there's uh, HP 20S, 28S keyboard, uh, and German, okay, German keyboard layout, okay. So Bart has, Bart can help us with that. So I think, I think I actually, I'm gonna, let's close down for today. So we focus on Emacs and that, that's good. So, uh, so you just search for, you go to Saudi keyboard. Uh, and uh, go to Xa Keyboard blog. Let's see what is on Discord. What people are saying. Nothing. Nobody is saying nothing. Uh, be your life. Okay, so you go to Xa Keyboard blog. You click on the layout, then you see the German. I mean, you see, you know, about keyboard layout. Then you click on German. Then here we have the German keyboard layout. And, uh, you know, the German language, first of all, if you are not speaking German, what you have to know is that German has these extra letters. Okay. A-O-U with an umlaut, umlaut de. Oh, <laughs> the German German people say it umlaut de, uh, umlaut de, I think, something like that. Am I correct? But, and uh, this is a, u, uh, u, 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 that's how they are pronounced, I think. I think, am I, am I correct? So, but, you have to grade me. Ah, U, U. That's what those unloaded version of A O U are, and this this funny B, this character is actually uh, equ kind of equi equivalent to S S. This is interesting S S. Okay, so they have that character in German uh, language. So so these are the foreign letters in German and uh, you know so I'm looking you know I'm studying keyboard layout so so first thing you you want to know about a keyboard layout of another language language is that you know what are the extra letters you know that's the first thing you want to know you need to know then then you need to st study the um, the letter frequency I have it here. You can see it. So it turns out, you see those those special characters are not used much. You see, you see they are not used much at all. Like they are the most least frequently used. So so if you are considering, you know, if you are studying layout for efficient layout, you can basically ignore all these special characters. So I have this page. 
you click on this will show you um, your frequency in real time for example for example this is a JavaScript code app that shows your letter frequency in real time and this is written by me of course and if you like this you need to buy my JavaScript tutorial okay so let's see let me add the T you see if I <laughs> keep adding T the T is gonna override them all and you can also copy this entire page go here select all and paste you see so you can copy your source code JavaScript or whatever you can paste it all then you uh, and you can see so that's about that so I want to sh demonstrate that that's all and uh, back to the German layout where is it okay so go back to the German layout you know so I'm, I'm kind of studying them uh, so but but didn't answer okay so where well um, so go to Xar talk show again close that uh, German okay German keyboard layout and that's that's it for today okay guys so have a good day enjoy your holidays so new year is coming guys new year 2020 2020 this is the end of a decade the beginning of a a new one um, so that's amazing you know uh, 2020 so what are you guys um, doing um, oh and also I like to thank Kathy is Kathy here thank Kathy for donation uh, and you guys if you guys yeah I'm shutting down in, in one minute or two okay so many of you guys I'm not familiar so you guys AA join discord okay you can find the link on my YouTube or on my xali.info website join discord and uh, for those uh, uh, you in discord there is a programming challenge by George okay so so we have a solution by Alan Alan over there who who has uh, who gave us a go go land solution and George gave us a solution in Ruby and we also have a solution another solution in Ruby so so if you have not done that code this programming challenge we're gonna talk about it uh, in you know in a few days over in a weekend I think so that's it for today join discord okay and thank yeah thanks thanks to Kathy Kathy Edge for for money uh, bye guys.